Hey, what's happening? We got a good interview today. We got the one and only. Hey, hold on, man. We got the one and only oh, yeah. little Tweety in the building. Right. Hey, hey, the first exclusive ever interview with little Tweety, man. Hey, if you guys know Chicano rap, if you guys know, you know, rap in general, if you know West Coast rap, Way back. hey, you got to know this guy, this legend's in the building. Little right. Tweety, man, the youngest, the no, youngest no. Chicano rapper ever to Do start it. doing music and being right. distributed through Universal and everything, man. So how you doing, Tweety? Good. So it's hey. good to be back, man. Hey, we back, we back, Tweety, after so many years. Oh, man, you know, some people might not know you. Some people do know you. Some people grew up to your music. Yeah. I'm an old females grew up to your music as a kid, and uh, some of them got older now, and some of them are still young because Tweety yep. is young himself. Yep. I mean, you were rapping. How old were you when you first started rapping? First started rapping uh, 15, Damn. 15 years old, um, out of middle school. Middle school. Trip right. out. Little Chicano kid in middle school doing the thing, man. So, so man, tell me how that felt about being in school and being a rap star. Man, how did that feel, man? I, I, I never even got to get that privilege to be a star in school. <laughs> well, man, the, it's such a privilege, man. I was... Uh, Actually, in eighth grade, uh, and on my way going back um, to Indio High. So um, when I had started, you know, it was something different for me. But, you know, I always wanted to take it further. Yeah. So uh, being 15 years old, coming, you know, from eighth grade into, into ninth, ninth grade in Indio High, um, you know, having fans and people already recognizing who I am. Yeah. Um, while I was recording the album, uh, by the time I, the first album, The Bad Boy, was yeah. coming out, and uh, I believe it was already uh, released. Uh, one of the music videos. Uh, so walking around in Indio High School, you know, just fresh. And yeah. um, I had, uh, there were some girls that had uh, my picture already in their folder. In the binder. <laughs> They're like, oh, he's in yeah, our school? Yeah. He's yeah. in our school? Yeah. So oh, I, my God, he's in our school? <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I got that a lot, you know. Yeah, I, got I can that imagine. A lot. And, uh, you know, they were like, oh, can I get a picture with you? So all, uh, all this, you know, being surrounded by it was. First day of school, you're the star. <laughs> already, man, already. So, yeah. But, uh, it, I mean, it was something that, you know, I'll never forget, you know, growing up and, uh being just so young. Damn. You know what? It's, it's funny because you have fans. You were like 15 and you have fans when they were like probably eight years old, nine year old girl, 10, yep. like little like elementary, little yep. like, I'm like, what? The Tweety fans? Because you were like yeah, 15 yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're like 10, 11, 12. But like you guys are all little kids and there's even, you're a kid and there's even kids younger kids, than you. Yep. They're like, I'm like, what? I'm yeah. like, but you know, I mean, you, you made history and people don't know like, this is historical that you got an artist that was that young doing his thing and not just doing your thing. You were selling records. You hit yeah. the charts. Yeah. You were the second top selling high power artist when you were first with it. You were out doing criminal pinks and everyone at the beginning. You were just like on top of things. It was like the phenomenon, man. So sh shout yeah. out to Tweety, man. If they don't know Tweety. Now you, you know, know it, and we're going to let you know. We're, this is the live interview, so we're going to let you know everything because yep. people have been asking, where's Tweety at? So All these we, questions. We dug them out the dug them out the hole, <laughs> like, what's cracking? Hey, yeah. so uh, just we want to get some info more on you, like, so people know and the hint they know out there, Um, like, where were you raised at? Obviously, you said kind of Indio and stuff, and uh, family. You got people from Vardos, Um, yeah. you know, like, you know, just, you know, break a little rundown of, like, where you raised at and, um. Uh, you know, just, you know, brothers. I remember you had some brothers and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I was born and raised in Indio, California. Indio? Uh, for those who don't know, um, it's Indio? right next to uh, <laughs> Palm Springs. Yeah. And, uh, you know, growing up there my whole life, my whole family, you know, was uh, originated there. And, um, you know, my brother was, you know, from a barrio out there. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Puppet, right? Yeah, Puppet. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. shouts out Puppet, man. Where you at, homie? Yeah. Hey, man, OG. Yeah. OG in the game, man. So, I, you know. Seeing him uh, growing up, uh, he also did music. Yeah. So, you know, I would just shadow him, you know, meet, meet up with him, with his producer and all. And um, I just, it, it grew on me. Yeah. You know, the, 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 the music, the writing and all. Um, you know, I got my, all my family are from different hoods out there. Yeah. Um, but, you know, saying blood is, you know, it, it kept the boundary. Just keep, get a little closer to the mic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, definitely, man. Yeah, Um. Definitely. Um, I remember going over there to the hood in Indio, seeing you. I'm like, these guys, these are the real deal family. <laughs> They're just chilling in. Pops is out there, yep. shirt off. Yep. Brother, big puppet, like, yeah, my little, you know, my little carnal. 
yeah. rapping, you know, and then we're, you know, we're already grown men. We're like in the early twenties or something like that. We're like, we got, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know. So it was, it was, it was kind of crazy because you were like a youngster. So yeah. it's like, it's like for me, like in Nevada, we got a little young homie. You know, make sure the little homies pick pick up the little homie. We're gonna go take them. You know, whatever. Woo, woo, woo. And it's a responsibility on us to yeah, make sure yeah. you safe. And you do do not do nothing wrong. Yeah, you know what I, 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 I remember the first time that I went out with you guys on a yeah. on a tour. Uh, my mother had told you, you know, take care of him. You know, it's my yeah, son. He's yeah, young, yeah. and you know, and you and criminal at the time were like, yeah, you know, don't trip. You know, we, we got him, and yeah. um, and that's what you guys did. You know, when I was out, yeah. younger than everybody. You know, I wasn't even eighteen yet. Damn, that's crazy, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know, we got to protect the young ones. You know what I'm saying, and keep them away from all that stuff and you know show them a positive role and and i'm pretty sure your life went real fast Wait. real fast yeah. and you're dealing with some real ones and that's shots out to your family for having trust in some crazy ass fools you know yeah. what i'm saying oh, yeah yeah because we weren't just a regular like nah. hi i'm your manager we're gonna nope. come down we're out there like Gang like tatted, tatted yep. up fools you know getting down if we have to get down yep you know like on tour acting a fool so i mean yeah i mean but you know we knew how to represent for the young ones yeah. And take care of them. And but I, sometimes we're walking up there in line. Yeah. With, you know? and, and, you know, being around that, um, it wasn't uh, something that I was not used to. Yeah. Because I grew up um, exactly. it, it, with a family that was, you know, uh, very the heavy in, in the gang. I mean, yeah. we got we got drive-bys at. Uh, you know, we got uh, fools throwing yeah. uh, stuff into the window and yep. uh, chasing us out the house. And, um, you know, so. Yeah, that's when, when we went there, I was like, this this feels like home. You know, like, yeah. I was like, little Tweety might be 15, but he like, you know, like, that's like. We can go and just chill on the front lawn yeah. with the sweetie, you know? Yeah, no, yeah. Pops would be like, what's cracking, pup? It would be out yeah. there, you know? Like, it was just like, it was just like, so it wasn't something like, oh, we got this guy with us and we're like, damn, like, you know, we weren't even yeah. feeling like, we just felt like family. Like, you know, this is yeah. the little, our little, our little brother right here. Pretty you know, much, man. You know? Pretty much. Like, yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was all, it was, it was all good, man. So, you know, it, it only all that stuff that happened out there, you know, uh, you know, and I know you got stories, yeah. I know you got street stories, but we 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 just leave that to the streets. Yeah. And Lil Tweety was out there, and everybody knew he was like he was the mayor of Indio, basically. Pretty much, man. <laughs> put my city on the map. Hell yeah, he put it on the map. Anybody says no, hey, Tweety put it down. Yeah, there's yeah. some solid G's out there that put it down, but Tweety made everyone like Indio, Indio. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, know, I noticed on some of these signs going back home. Yeah, it says Indio and other desert cities. Oh, right here yeah. from LA, so we'll have Indio and then have LA yeah. all the way down. Yep. So you know. Yep, shots out Indio. Hey, so uh let's get to the let's get to the music side now, man. So let's talk about how this guy Little Tweety came about. So in this interview, it's a lot of me talking because I have a lot of history with Little Tweety. Yeah. So I'm gonna say it like this. It was back in the days we had a show in uh what city was the show in? Palm Springs. We were doing a show in Palm Springs, sold out, 2,000 people, Mr. Capone rocking it, whatever, boom, boom, boom. Um, and I guess I can go from there. From here, I can let you take over. So where did you see me at, and how did this all begin? Well, during the show, I was, you know, sitting back, you know, as a, a viewer and, um, yeah. you know, listening to you guys' music. You know, I was watching and everything, and uh, the show ended. I was already on my way out. Yeah. And uh, my little brother, that. little man. <laughs> You know, I was already at, you know, I, saw I was, man. I was maybe about like two or three steps from stepping into the car yeah. when my little brother was like, Hey, I just told Mr. Capone that you rap. And I was like, Oh man, why'd you tell him that? You know? <laughs> and he was like, Oh, he's calling you right now. He's calling you. Damn. So my other, my brother, um, uh, Eric was like, Hey, uh, go back, go back. So I ended up going back, you know, I know what's, what was going to happen. And, you know, you're right there doing your thing, autographing and all that stuff. Yeah. And you're like, hey, you know, step aside. I'm going to talk to you real quick. So, yeah. I, you know, I, I got it with you. Like, so you flow? And I was like, yeah. He was like, what, well, freestyle. So exactly. I ended up, I ended up And like, I don't tell nobody. Like, you, I, nah, I know, Tweety, never. you've been on the road with me. Did I ever tell that to anyone? Nah. People nah. might like, oh, Capone just tries to tell everybody free. Nah. Nah. I, I will only ask one person once in my life, freestyle for me like that. And it was little Tweety. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's, when it happened, I just you know, spit, and you're like, all right, cool, 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 like, you know, kind of hushed it down, you're like, you know, uh, give me your number, so I gave him my number, you know, in like, maybe about two weeks, but I was yeah. like, uh, I don't think he's gonna call, so like two weeks, I was just, <laughs> I was just actually, I was about to go back to, to school, and um, yeah. and I got that phone call, oh, um, man. so from there on, it was like, it was like, just fast, fast, man. Yeah, and yeah, we got Quick. straight to business. Yeah. So straight. So the, the crazy part about this, like, and I'm gonna tell it like it is in the truth, right, so, when we first started Hot Power, we were like 
doing things. And then uh, we had a couple artists already in the in the camp going. And then we had a little guy that was, you know, doing some music, but he wasn't around. So we're like, damn, we have this little young guy that we need to put in the game. Yep. And the first thing was going through my mind is like, I need to find a little youngster that's like yeah. 13, 14, 15 years old. And then, you know what, I believe in, uh, not say, what's the word called, like destiny? Yeah. yeah. So when I was thinking about that was the time I went to do the show on Palm Springs. So when your brother came to me, I got a little, he's only 15, he raps. I was like, wait a minute, that's what I was thinking about right. today. Yeah. I was thinking about, I needed, so I was like, if this guy is halfway decent, or whatever, I'm gonna check them out. But then you pulled up. I was like, "Wait a minute, this is the, like it." I didn't even have to. <laughs> I didn't even have to really hear you rap. Honestly, even though I needed to hear you rap, yeah, yeah. I was like, "This guy looks like a star." Yeah, it, I looked at him. I was like, "This is the guy," and I go, "Bust it!" If you can, in my head, I'm like, "If he can bust, this is this guy's gonna yeah, blow up." Definitely, man. It, so I, I did. I busted did. it. I was like. History's made. I'm like, don't trip, little homie. I was like, there's fans around me. Because yeah. everybody wants my number. Like, hey, I got this going on. I got this. I'm like, Ch -ch -ch. then I look at Tweety. I was like, give me your number, homie. Yeah. Boom. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So it was like, it was, it keep was it cool. low. Keep it low. You know? Yeah. And, <laughs> you know, yeah, you did have this, uh, this, you know, this image already in, in, in your head. So yeah. that's when the, the name was given to me. Yeah. Um, at first, you know, I was looking for something like, you know, more yeah. like like a grown man name, you know. Yeah. But when you gave me that name, little Tweety, I was like, you know what? I can do that. Yeah. And uh, t even till this day, people are like, man, why is, why is your name like that? You know, why is it yeah. Tweety? You know, it's, it's it's completely different. You're with Mr. Criminal, Mr. Capone. You yeah. have all these heavy names, and here's little Tweety. Exactly. I said, well, I mean, I see what it just matches my image. Yeah. And I'm the youngest one. Yeah. Listen to all you people, man. You don't have to. Everyone should play their own position. This is little yeah. Tweety. Somebody is this. Someone's that. Like, we all don't need to be that, you know, I'm smoky. I'm killer. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. this. Like, everyone's thing. And I looked at Tweety and was like, this guy is going to do it, and and then he exceeded my expectations as soon as he started dropping those albums because I seen them go, girls go crazy, and I was like, damn, I thought this guy's going to blow up, but this guy's blowing up. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, hey, shots out little Tweety, man. Those were good old days. Memories. And, uh, man, and how's it feel? And not only that, to be the youngest, like, and I know I just bring it up, Rady, to Chicano in the game, like, in those days, it was unheard of. Like today, now you have little rappers, and they're still not your age. They're like no. 17, yeah. 16, or 18, 19, and they're like, damn, he's so young. He's so young. Tweety was 15, hanging out with some crazy-ass fools. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, maybe from, from a small valley, you know, hanging out with these guys from, you know, out here was like, man, you know. So tell me, tell me what was your first album? What was the first album called? Bad boy, that bad boy, damn. Yep, and that was actually the, the picture on that cover was oh, the, was like the first time that um, I, I met with you and we, yeah. we got some photo shoots and. Oh man, so that cover, if you haven't seen the cover, it's Tweety's like you know, it's yeah. like a bad boy, the bad guy in school, the little youngster, yep. like the, it looked cartoon, it looked like. It looked like a cereal box CD yeah, cover, yeah, yeah. you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it looks so dope, you know, so it was like, man, the bad boy, yeah, man, so you dropped that track, that album, and man, like, literally, like, how long did it take you to finish, I remember three, you ran through three it months. quick, damn, 15-year-old guy dropping an album in yeah, three, months. three months, lesson to all you rappers out there that take three years to drop one song, homie dropped an album in three months months 15 years old yeah and man. no i wasn't there coaching him i wasn't there writing nah. no lyrics for him nope, I wrote. he was doing it all by himself yep day in and day out man i mean next you know i called tweety like hey bro did you finish one song bro i got half my album done I'm yep. like, huh <laughs> like what yeah man i was i was on fire man it was it was something that that you know i, I wanted to do and, and then i was passion. pissed and i was like man this pike he's he's ruining it what is he doing and then i hear the songs like oh damn yeah. I don't even yeah. have to coach the guy. He's 15 <laughs> years old, and he's like, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah. So I was yeah. like, this is a grown-ass man, and he's a little yeah, youngster, yeah, yeah. you know? So, yeah, man, and that was smart, man, because Tweety, that's, he just blew up real quick. And I remember your sales were, like, top charting the first year you were out. Like, there was a crazy buzz on you. It was like, Tweety's the next, Tweety's the next, Tweety's the next, and you started building that crazy fan base, man. Yeah, like, man. I thought in my head, like, Tweety's going to be, like, 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 Five, ten years after, 20 years old, he's going to be the, the one of the guys, like, <laughs> in the game. You know, right. it, it was crazy how you were doing it. And then, um, shoot, I mean, you dropped, name some couple um, of albums the, the next that. album I did after that was um, 
All eyes on me. All eyes on me. Um, yeah. Oh, speaking of all eyes oh, on me, right. he little youngster had the high part okay. tattoos. I mean, still, you can't see, still got that. He got the, represented. Hey, li- everyone's like a little kid representing all you f- fake ass old men that act really like is. you representing. This little youngster were like, I got my la- my label tatted on me. You know, yeah. by the second album, it was it was it was like literally official. Yeah, and you that's know? and that's how how our com- camaraderie. And our bond with yeah. all of each other. We knew, everyone knew. Look, when people put tats on, on them, they do it because they feel like I'm secure here. Like, this homie's got my back. I got his back. And we all had that, like, when we are fresh in the game, we were like, I don't think there's no label or nobody, even to this day, that was that strong and that dedicated to have each other's back and was yeah, out there, man. like, deep. I mean, we were, like, 200 deep sometimes. 300 deep. Our, sta- our stage was full. And everybody Ooh. was with the functions, and everyone yeah. was down to watch each other's backs. And it was Definitely. like there was no backstabbing. We were like a real, real unit. We're like, a unit. Family. There was no, yeah, there was no, yeah, man. there was no like, I'm here for this reason. Everyone's nah. here for the, the reason of like, we're all supporting each other and we're ready to take a bullet for each other. We're ready. Yeah. We went to the deep waters, man. Like, I mean, I, we're not going to talk about how many crazy things we've seen and done and been around but i mean we all risked it all i mean he being a kid i mean he was rolling with us for the note of it after this you start seeing a lot of artists with yeah right here yeah oh yeah Yeah. exactly the first tap you know little tweety he's telling you straight up man hell yeah so now your career is going now you're blowing up you're doing your thing i mean i'm doing my thing pink's doing her thing criminal Mm -hmm. doing his thing hpg doing his thing um we're leaving you on your own. Like, we know you can do it. You're handling your own. You're dropping all these albums. And um, the fame is coming. Yeah. And, uh, like, a lot of things are going on. Before even we get to that level, we'll talk about where, why did Tweety disappear or what happened. Right. We'll get to that. You know what I'm saying? Because people still to this day, where's Lil Tweety? Yeah. We're talking about yep. years later. But before we even got to that, you were doing your music. You were in the studio. And then you started, like, I'm going to go get some new beats from this other area, this other area, and start doing stuff like that, which I, I wouldn't even have to call Tweety and, like, you know, ask him because I yep. know Tweety handles yeah, business yeah. and gets it done. And he comes, he gets his che- he gets his ch- paycheck, he gets his job done, and we keep moving forward. Yeah. But there was a situation that um, you got some beats from some producer or somebody, and it literally um, – me, Mr. Capone, was they were trying to sue Mr. Capone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about um what happened here. What beats? What what was what happened here? And well, what, after um you know all the traveling back, you know, yeah. far distance for me, you know, from where I live at to where the studio was. Yeah, you know, that was, was recording. So you know, we we thought it would be better that I just find somebody you know local, with, local that I'm able to uh, you know get some beats, record at, uh, just make it a little bit more convenient for me. Yeah. So um I ended up, ended up picking up a beat. Beat was hard. Yeah. And, um, we actually laid it down, recorded, and uh, we actually pushed it out. Yeah. We pushed it out. It was already out in the stores and shelves and everything. And uh, uh, just within maybe like a few months, uh, you know, you got a, a phone call. Hey. You got a phone call. And, um, you Ooh. know, you, you okay, so, that. yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I'm, not from, I'm from the streets and, you know, sh- stuff like that gets handled. We just handle it man to man or, you know, talk about it, whatever. So I, I, got, a, I got a letter. And I guess I can't get mad at royalty. Too much. I mean, I still got to be like, yeah, that, that was kind of weird, you yeah, know. But yeah. he had a label that he's going through. This guy starts calling me like, "Hey, we're gonna sue you. You stole one of our beats." I'm like, "What beat?" I'm like, laughing like everything yeah. we do, we do yeah. it legit. We don't steal no one because we weren't every other label. They steal stuff. They stole beats. They jack beats. Yeah. They rap over instrumentals. Yep. We never did that. We nah. made original All music. Original. And that was against us, like it, it like because everyone likes Jack Beats more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we were doing the original beats and still killing it. And he's like, "No, you jacked our beat. You jacked our beat." I'm laughing like, "Hey, hey, royalties calling me. Yeah, you jacked my beat. You jacked my beat." Yeah. So I'm like, Pfft. "And then which beat?" Then they send me a beat and they show me, and it was off a low profile instrumental yep. that they send out. And I'm and then you're busting, you're killing the verse, you're you're yeah, smashing man. it. But all of a sudden, like you stole our beat, we want a lawsuit couple hundred thousand whatever i'm yep. like what so i'm like first i got a call in with tweety hey tweety homie what's up with this and then you told me the story and i'm like oh yeah damn yeah and yeah, then man. i called i i talked to them and i was like all right well guess what i ain't gonna give you a couple hundred thousand it ain't happening you know we ain't we don't got that money to give you and it's not gonna happen so do what you want to do 
And I kept getting phone calls. And then in our contract, yeah. it says anything you use um, wrong is not against me. So it would be against Tweety. Yeah. So I even explained to them, you could try to come sue me all you want, but my contract states the artists are responsible, responsible. to have yeah. their beats. Cool. Yeah. But you know, you don't need to talk to me. You need to talk to me like a man. So eventually, you know, it went back and forth a while. And then Royalty said, you know what? I'm just going to... I just want your CDs, Mr. Capone CDs. Yep. I'm like, you want Mr. Capone CDs? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay, I look at that as a, uh, like, what's the word called? Um, hey, man. He, he, like he knows your, your, your oh, yeah. sales, he, you know? Yeah, he, he, he needs, my, my CDs going to make some the money. money. Yep. So to me, yeah. CDs cost a dollar to make. I don't know how many do you want, 5,000, 10,000 that he want. But I was like, okay, man, you know, I'm going to take an L. I'm going to give you CDs. But guess what? You're pushing my name out there it's mr capone so hey i'm gonna look at it as like yeah. promo we came to deal sign a contract whatever I, I really don't like that law suing things like I, I never run that kind of route but yeah man hey he did it and then that kind of like damn tweety man like you you know like you put me yeah. in a little no, situation no, yeah, yeah, man i know and you know <laughs> and that was and it happened to be the first time that i you know i was out you know looking yeah. for something and um Exactly. Yeah, luckily, man. And that's another lesson to the youngsters out there, man. Like, when you're in the game, everyone's in your ear. Come over here. I got this for you. I got this yeah. for you. And there's always a good structure to keep to yeah. the structure because sometimes when you don't know who you're dealing with, they're doing shady stuff, and then you get thrown into that shady stuff, yep. and then it comes into it comes our shady stuff, and then now we're all shady. Like, what? Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The same for samples, man. You know, yeah. I remember when you did all the, you know, with your originals. All, you you had to get approval from the exactly. actual... Uh, singers, you in know. In fact, oldest. I have the real singers on the on song, them, with yep. me. so it's not like yep. I'm jacking your beat. And they, they had I to hear to, yeah. and read what you were writing. So exactly. uh, yeah, you know, that's that's a far that you know we have to uh, pay attention. And we did that in, in the whole music game. We did everything legit. We didn't steal no one's shit. Uh -huh. We kept it real, and that's how we were doing it, man. So yeah, man. It, like Tweety was doing his thing, and then all of a sudden, like I don't know where we lost communication, but then you had a whole new life, man. Like something like you. Didn't come around. And yeah. it, it didn't dawn upon me maybe six months later. Or like, where's Tweety? Because people are like, where's Tweety at? I'm like, I don't know. He's probably just like, he's probably with a girl. Or he probably has. Then I'm yeah. hearing you're getting, you got, you got kids. Yeah. So then you start having kids. And uh, shouts out to the kids, man. I think they're in the building right now, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, my son. Yeah. So you start having kids. I'm like, this guy's 18 years old. He's got like one or two kids already now. You know, I mean, yeah. I don't know exactly. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah, probably yeah. off on the ages. Yeah, but kind of right, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, this guy's already popping up kids, 18 years old, like pop, 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 pop. I'm like, <laughs> wait a minute. This guy's got all these kids already. Like, he's got a whole barn already, you know? Well, I, I, I think that's what um, the slowing down of because I think there was a two-year uh, gap yeah. between um, confessing and feeling to uh, you know my name album. Yeah. So it was about two year gap, and uh, you know when you have you start having kids, you know your, your father I've figure changed, starts yeah. starts starts coming up. So now you want to be present more. And and uh, when I did go out, you know a few few shows, it was like uh, you know I was missing home, missing yeah. the kids at the time. They're still still young at that time. So yeah. uh, that's where it started to like my time was being found uh, at first. Yeah. yeah. And then you know you were doing your thing, and then um kind of disappeared so uh i guess it's, it's all you right now so let's talk about that let's talk about what happened to tweety when there was a good maybe eight years you disappeared six years. years yeah so there was yeah. literally someone from 18 19 years old 20 years old to like 28 years old you were gone like tweety's on where did he go everyone's tweety this tweety that you're on fire tweety we want tweety yeah. there's no tweety nah. and you were on the point of like criminals gaining momentum to be the second biggest artist in high power and then you're kind of losing that second place yeah you were going down a little and you start disappearing and you know like new guys were coming left and right and then well, i'm like tweety had it and now tweety's disappearing and uh i mean talk to them let, let them know obviously kids is a reason and life is a reason and what all went down man you know because i'm not going to be like no you need to be here like everyone's life is their life you know but yeah. You went through some s situations and and uh, let them know what happened. You know. Yeah. Well, uh, this is actually the yeah the gap in between up and town now. Um, 2010. I uh, I had a uh, two album released that year, and it yeah. was um, what you gonna rap made me and love poetry. Yeah. So you know. And that's when you you disappeared and then you came back. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I I I disappeared from that. Um, just finished it out. Yeah. Get it out the way. Yeah. And then from that time. 
I, I, th- I mean, I can say even until now, because that was the last album that I put out was in 2010, so that was, you know, yeah. about 12 years ago. Damn. Um, well, you know, yeah, you know, kids, kids, you know, uh, were being born, you know, born to me, and, uh, uh, you know, this is, you know, the, what nobody really knows about is, you know, this is in uh, 2005, actually, uh, yeah. you know, it, it wasn't my doing, it wasn't my doing, I wasn't yeah. out, like, hey, you know, I just want to just leave the music and everything, but actually, you know, uh, religion started to come into my, into my mind, so, yeah. uh, you know, and, and, I, and I know that, you know, you can't mix the two, so, you know, I was That's just, a thin line, it's very thin line. Yeah, it's a very thin line, man, so, yeah, I, I had to decide, you know, do I chase my career, or do I continue, you know, doing this, what I feel called to do, yeah. um, so that was, you know, I was doing that for all this time, but even the time that I was uh, in that gap, yeah. Uh, I had music still in my mind. Yeah. You know, so like you're battling through your own selves. Like, you're young. Much. You're, like, trying to, like, hey, I love this life, but it is a dangerous life, and it's something that could end up being not good. And it, there's a lot of bad things in our yeah, life. Yeah, I mean, we're, yeah. we're partying with girls. I mean, there's, like, alcohol. There's drugs. There's, there's a lot of temptation there's out there. There's a lot of bad temptations that you could easily be swallowed up. We've seen artists like Rest in Peace, D Double T X. Yeah, man. And, um, like, like, I don't want to speak on it, but, like, I just feel like I've seen how the music industry took them to the top and also took them to the bottom. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, like, yeah. like, life was so good that it, when it stopped being so good, like, and he couldn't find what, what's, what, went, what went wrong. You know what I'm saying? So you're going through your situation. Your life is good. But then you're also realizing, now I got kids. And yeah. you know what? Like. Where do I, how do I, this thin line is, it, it, I, I don't know if I could juggle both, right? So, yeah, yeah, you're, so in, you're in that situation now. Yeah, so. so I'm, you know, during that situation, I decided just to cut ties completely with music. Yeah. Uh, you know, I even stopped communication with you. You know, I just, I just, anything that was music or anything that related to that, yeah. uh, um, I just cut ties completely, you know, so I just literally just went off the map with it. Um, but, you know, during that time, I was still struggling with, uh, you know, music, you know, like yeah. I felt that I, I still wasn't uh, done yet. Yeah. I, well, I'm going to tell you one thing, big dog. Even though you lost those years of music and it might in this world that we live in right now, you might not got the best of it, but your investment is for the life after. So at the end of the day, homie, I mean, I don't know how your belief system is yeah. now, but whatever you put in your work, God's going to look at that and like, hey, you lost out on all this. And yeah. you might not see it now, but I'm I'm a strong faith believer that you're gonna get the credits for your actions in that part of the part you lost in life. Lost, you know? Yeah, man, and and that's what you know. I'm I'm looking I'm looking forward to you know is uh, you know trying to trying to get back the years that I yeah. I uh, put to the side myself. But um, you know now that I'm here, you know I just want to look forward. I'm I'm gonna try this one more time and yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, just just make some 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 new music, man. That's that's what I'm really trying to get because I had that urge, and yeah. right now that urge is being satisfied. And if I don't uh, satisfy that urge, it will always be a what if or exactly, what would have yeah. happened. Exactly, and sometimes you could think like, man, you you've been around the game too long. It's it time's up. You still you still in the prime. You still yeah. you still in the uh, I, he's still in the thirties, baby. Yeah, in the yeah, early, yeah. Early I mean, thir- he's in the early thirties, so yeah, I mean, you know, he's, and he's in his prime. <laughs> and you're mad, you know, being being a teenager and then yeah. you're releasing up to uh, six albums. Damn, you yeah. know, I, I got six albums in my in my catalog. Uh, you know, so being young was like, man, that really just you know, and I was out doing. It was moving, so. hey, and and you know, to tell you the truth, it, it's probably a lot on your shoulder, homie. Like, cause you got a lot of fame. I know one part of what I see you doing, but when I'm gone. You're at school. You're at family picnics. Yeah. People seeing you everywhere by yourself. Yeah. That we can't be with you all the time, and that that's when life really hits you. Like, damn, yeah. I am yeah, Tweety. Then they're looking at you like you're you're the king. You're Tweety. And you're like, how do I, how do I be normal? But then like I am a star. But like, what am I spo- like now? What am I supposed to do? Jump in private jets and like be listen, listen, like yeah, you know, superhero. You, you know, know what? and during that time that I, I was out, that's what I actually I, I actually worked so hard to kill. My name, my yeah. stage name, like, like I didn't want no part with that name. But yeah. fans were still like, "Hey, you know, Tweety, you know, can I get a picture? Can I get an autograph?" And so this was still coming. I'm like, man, I just can't get rid of the name. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, That's crazy, it's like yeah. what you know? What I, I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do. But I really try to put that name into the grave, like, and just be normal. Yeah. You know, go to stores and let yeah. you know, so just drive it wherever, and don't have to worry about who hates me and who loves me or what. Just, just be yeah. normal. But yeah. uh, it's man, hard, man. I, I, I couldn't you. do it. I mean, look at me. I'm in this game for this long, yeah. homie. And sometimes I think, you know what? 
I'm, I'm gonna, but I'm like, bro, this is me. Yeah, like, I yeah, can't, change, can't change it. I can't change the past. I am who no. I am, and I'm going to have to hold strong and represent because yeah. I don't want, like, I feel like I don't want people to think, like, oh, Capone, fuck, you know, he, he, you know, like, he's breaking down, like, do 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 Nah, I'm full force, and this is for life. For life, yeah, man. But, hey, I mean, hey, at the end of the day, one thing that could change me would be religion. Yeah. And yeah. when that comes to play, that's something that I, I, like, I'm not mad at you or anyone who, you know, who chose religion over music because, hey, at the end of the day, God's number one. No matter yeah, how you feel about it now or you still feel about good about it, but at the end of the day, hey, that's a good cause. You can't go wrong on that. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's a long-term yeah, you're investment. Right. You're right, you know? man. Yeah, I agree. But we live in this world. We live in this world of consumers and uh, bad things around us. And, world, yeah, man. so, you know, we got to do what we got to do in this in this hellhole. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I look at it like, shoot, you know what? As long as I know my heart was right and wrong, I'm going to keep yeah. doing what I got to do because this is me. I mean, everyone's doing wrong. I mean, music might be wrong. But the guy at the liquor store that selling alcohol, alcohol could be doing yeah, wrong. Yeah. The drug dealer could be wrong. Yeah. I mean, people who own a doctor company and they're ch charging extra money, right. which not supposed to, yep. scamming. I mean, everyone's scamming everybody, right. homie. Like, everyone's just doing extras. It's like, yeah. we got to survive. You got to do music. It is what it is. I got to do it. You know, yeah. like, um, this is what's going to pay me. This is going to do it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that, nobody that's, perfect. No, you know what I'm saying? Nah, nah, you never find one. And when we talk about priests and all them, hey, they're out there collecting their bag, their money, and they're oh, putting yeah, it man. back home. And so, uh, yep. there's some. Cr out. They're using God <laughs> as their. I mean, we, you know, like yeah, a commodity, man. So, That's what they're doing. Yeah. So I mean, we all know. I mean, it, it is a. We. It's just. It's not our fault. We were raised in a society where it's all about making money. Yeah. And we got to deal with it both ways. And hopefully, you know, we can keep strong faith in us and. Be real on the streets, yeah. but hey, that's that's it. So yeah, man, that was crazy stuff, bro. I mean, and you were gone for a while, then you came back, and the funny thing is, you came back and disappeared again. You disappeared again. So yeah. let's talk about the second disappearing act. <laughs> same, it, it goes back to the same thing. You know, I was really struggling with it. You know, I'll, I'll be on fire again. Like, okay, I'm ready to do it. You know, I'm gonna uh, start recording, and you know, and and then when I'm alone, that's when it hits. With like, you know, like w w yeah. w when when you know so much knowledge, that comes into your into play with everything that you look at and what you're doing, you're like, Damn. dang, you know, okay, this, this is worth it. So, but like, so it was, some, I was yeah. battling, you know, with I it. I feel you because right now we're, we're together and right now it's like, hey, like I, I know I could hype you up and I could get hyped up. Let's go do that flat, right? Yeah, and yeah, yeah, but yeah. then we, we go back to our regular lives, yeah. you know, yeah. we walk away and we're like, Damn. We went, Capone took me out. We went party. Yeah. We did this and that. Yeah. And then all of a sudden in real life, here's my kids, here's the family. Yep. What are you doing? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And exactly, we all live man. in that. We all live we all in that do, life. Man. You know, yeah. we, we have that ups. And then we, but the thing is, key is balance. Okay, I'm going to go a little up, but I'm going to also have to go, I have to tone it. And you have yeah. to figure that balance, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Once you find it, yeah. 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 And that ha happens to a lot of um, just regular people in life, man. They see from the G life, they're a gangster, and then they see the ups and downs, and then they get the bad life. Drugs, smoke a little drugs, yeah. do a little drugs. They do a little too much, and they lost their life. It's all about staying consistent, staying consistent. and watch. Yeah. Don't go too much over everything. Don't go overboard. Yeah, don't go crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, man. Uh, shoot. So yeah, we talked about that. Now we got Twiggy back in the building. Let's just talk about different subjects now and uh, right. just hip hop in general, bro. So um, let me see a couple questions I could think of. Um, so uh, first of all, you're from India. I talked to this guy once or twice. Not really too much. Fat Guapo, and I was talking about indio and yeah, i was yeah. talking to you and i was like yeah there's some manager out there he manages little weirdo little maru all these uh new upcoming artists and i like you heard of that little tweety and then little tweety gave me an answer like what i was like he's still kicking with us yeah, yeah. so tell him what, what who you know who's fat guapo and i know he manages little weirdo little model but that's crazy how we have so much influence over so many people that like now who yeah. are big managers yeah, yeah, who are new kids, kids right you now know? Yeah, and it was and it actually started in uh back in middle school. Yeah. So like, their brothers, uh, his brothers, and my brothers were were homies. So that's yeah. how we met. So growing up in school, um, I remember I was just barely beginning to write way before even making records. He used to uh he used to write uh, also too, and he was like, man, I just want to rap and everything. So he was like, but I don't know how to rap. I said, well, you write good lyrics, so maybe you can just write lyrics and and you know be a ghostwriter or something. Yeah. You can sell. So he he, he took that. 
um, even some of my, my videos, he was around, and, uh, you know, we hung out. So we were just, uh, we were actually homies, you know, we're really yeah. good. And um, now that he's he's managing you know, artists and he's doing his so thing. So when he used to watch you doing your thing, I mean, like, did you ever think, like, this guy right here is going to be in the music industry? Or you just think, oh, he's just a guy watching me. <laughs> no, uh, no, you know, he was, he, was, he was actually a big homie to a lot of, a lot of little homies, um, you know. And so, you know, I was thinking, okay, you know, this guy, this guy's just getting himself out there, you know, in the street life. Uh, but then him doing the music, start doing these things. I'm like, it was just pretty much like a, uh, the hell, what you're doing this now, you know? So, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, we, we go way back. We go way back. And he probably looked up to you like, damn, little tweet yeah, doing yeah. big. Like, yeah, damn. he did. I mean, he was, you know, he was always supportive and everything. So that's what's up, uh, man. That, that was good. Yeah, that's something cool about this guy. I don't really know him, but uh, I chopped it up with him, and I was like, you know, some of these new cats, I really don't like them. They act like they're too good or something. Yeah. Like, fool, you haven't even seen life yet. But this guy's talking to me with respect. And I was like. Wonder how he got his glitch out. Like he's pretty. He knows what he's doing. And he's yeah. dealing with these little kids because it's hard to deal with these little guys right now. They don't. They're all over the yeah, place, all over right? The place, man. But um, he's dealing with them and he's talking to me like like a man. So I'm like, okay, this guy is real. And, yeah. Yeah. And then yeah, I'm like, cool. next thing you know, I find out little Tweety he's rolling. With, you're at the video shoots. He was at yeah, the yeah, video yeah. shoots, yeah, sitting he, watching. Yeah. He stuff. was just watching. He didn't want to <laughs> be in it. He's just. Yeah. He's like, nah. I'll just you know. I'll just hold the bag right here and, you know, follow you guys. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Hey, shots out. That's crazy. What video was that? What he was that? Um, that was actually back down. Back down. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, let's talk about more issues about, um, what about this guy, uh, another young guy? He wasn't actually as young as you, but he was, you know, gang banging on the streets. He's out, out of state. Uh, Travieso Parkside. Have you heard of that guy? Uh, yeah, I actually did. Um, rest did, in peace. Yeah, rest in peace, man. Yeah, I, I was, uh, was listening to some of his music. Uh, for my sons, you know, so yeah. they're, you know, it's that kind of generation music that we have now. And so I started watching yeah. him and everything, and, um, you know, and then I found out that he had passed away. And yeah. I was like, man, I was just watching this guy a few days ago, you know, watching his videos and everything. They were yeah. putting me up on game on him and everything. And then he ends up passing away. And I was like, man, you know, it's, it's, it, you know, do, doing music, you know, we, we do it so we can yeah. uh, make it out of, get out know, the hood, yeah. get out the hood, you know, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, I understand, you know, some of us, you know, we still, you know, bring the gang, the gang activity in, into the music, but you don't want to yeah. really, you know, True. just, just isolate your, Facts. your, 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 uh, your audience to just your neighborhood and, Facts. and then call, and then it causes, you know, tension between other places. If you're really trying to, you know, make that money and, uh, you gotta, you know, just put that to yeah. the side, you know, not, not losing respect for yourself yeah, exactly, or anything, yeah. but you know what I'm saying? Like, just, just have the music, have the music to get you out. Well, that's why I think. This and this is no disrespect to him because he's he's a legend. He's he, man. He I, yeah. I like that rapper. I like him. But I mean, when we grew up in the '90s, we lived the real crazy street life. So when we got music, we actually looked at it, this is the way out. Yeah. So we might have been still looking like gangsters, dressing like gangsters, and still down for our shit. But we wouldn't go on our raps and represent our hoods and say f your hood, this hood. Yeah. Like I was totally against all that. Right. Whether he, you know, he did that or not, but uh, like I see, and I'm not talking about him in general. All these new rappers, they're just like talking about their block, this and that block, this, yeah. and, you know, like yeah. yo, f this block, that's block. I'm like, bro, that shit should be remain silent yeah. because that when you really speaking, really real pedals going down. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And when you real, you don't want to speak on it. So me, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna start doing a little love jams for the ladies, this and yeah. that, because. I'm like, I can't talk gangster shit because I am on the streets doing gangster shit. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it was just yep. something that I learned in the 90s. And uh, I think nowadays, kids' generation, they're just all over the place. But I mean, man, that fool was dope, though. That fool. Yeah. Actually, he was yeah. a spark of light for the real music that was coming back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, when, when I heard that news, I'm like, what? Yeah, That's I was just crazy, messed up. Man. Like, I just wish he had some older homeboys, too. And he probably does, but... Give him a little clutch, uh, like, you know, hey, homie, we got to move like this, you got to yeah, move like that. Man. But you, we can't call it. Like you, He could be moving smart, and he still got into it. You know, we, yeah. we bullets don't have no names, man. It's destiny, yeah. it's destiny, man, yeah. you know? So it is what it is, bro. Um, Shoot, other topics, man. Oh, there's another guy out here called Bessel. You, what, you heard about that guy? Yeah, I heard, I heard one of his songs, you know, um, Cool, you know, every, it's the music. Is, different, it's, different, it's just yeah. really, really, really different, you know. So, you know, I wouldn't say, like, their, their music is – is uh, you know something that I won't listen to? It's just it's just it's a different year, different uh, exactly, generation. Yeah. You know, from it's something where like we yeah, came yeah, from, exactly. You know? It's just something like we would in our time we'd be like, huh? Yeah, but I mean, yeah. it is it it is what it is. It's a new generation, so it's like. And Pestle came to the studio right here, and I did a song with him, and I got a song with Pestle. You know, 
but I I didn't even realize like then he's got a little following, you know. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah definitely. Yeah. So, but it's just a different time. So we have to learn how to adjust to the styles of the new exactly. people, yeah, and new the new guys need to know how to adjust to the styles of the real motherfuckers out there. Yeah, the we, we, you know we, what I'm saying? We, we pay. For the, the way, because man. when they get locked up, the real the the nineties guys pop out, and then like and people are like, oh they're shit, in, they're in there. They're <laughs> <laughs> so they're like, this is the real this deal. 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 But hey, it is what it is, man. Shots out them guys doing the thing, little yeah. youngsters and stuff. Um, there's another topic though, man. I mean, I don't know how you feel about this, homeboy. Um, what's up with the um, damn, what's up with the word? Like, I mean, it's not in my vocabulary, obviously. Um, but you know, I was raising the models, this and that. Well, what do you think about people using the N word? I mean, what's what do you think about man, that? Man, I think that's a subject that uh man, I can talk about for days and it's something that I talk even off the mic. Yeah. Uh, you know, um that's just something that's very disappointing to me. Mm. You know, especially exactly. you know, saying yeah. like that that word was not uh for us to be using and, and nowadays that I see like, you know, mm. it's used more than who's supposed to be using it. <laughs> you know, hey, I'm, I'm not gonna tell you. I, I, like, there's so many stories. Yesterday, I was, we were kicking with some homie, and he was using the N word. He's from LA, and then there's some black girls with us partying. And he was using the N word, like being cool, and sh she was like, "Why are you using that? Yeah. Like, shh, like, you're not allowed to use it." Like, he's like, "Hey, man, we're from LA, though. You know, this is how we do it out here." I'm like, "Bro, if anyone never used it, it was LA. What do you mean LA? We're from LA. We're allowed to use it. This girl's from the East Coast." And I understand over there they might be using it, but yeah, over here yeah. we did not use it like oh. that. And she and he's like, I'm from Manly, we, and she was looking at him like, Shh, I don't appreciate that. And I like, almost starting to a little function, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually ran into you know I had some friends that they end up they, they end up picking up that word and they be like you know they be calling hey what's up you know I was like hey don't ever call me that you know yeah. what I'm saying I would tell them hey you know you're, you're not supposed to be using that word like that homes you know exactly. you're. you're Stay solid, man. To your kind. That's all you exactly. gotta do. Exactly. I mean, and, and to me, this is this is my theory about why the N word is. Um, I don't really like, you know, say it and stuff like that because the N word was a derogatory word to yeah. the black people. Yeah. So when you say that N word, whether they want to change it, I did a little. I made it a little fancier. You know, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Black people when I grew up as a little kid, like they didn't like that word, and they didn't like blacks even use it amongst each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, hey, you, like, who who you calling? You know, like, you yeah, know, like, yeah. you know, like, yeah, it was, a, it, it, was it, a diss. It, it was it was a slur. To yeah, me, it, was like it was like literally a diss. Like, hey, 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 what? Yeah. You call me? It? You know, yeah. like fools were getting yeah. into it about that. So I, I seen that growing up. Like, you know what? That's their steel and that's their stuff, man. And you know what? I have no right to speak on it, even though I I mean they're cool with me, but it's not about that. It's just like hey, and then I'm raising a bottle. And we're talking our own slang, and I feel like the reason why we talk our own slang. Is because we are creating our own lane um, of culture, yeah, culture, of style, yeah. of you know, like streets, and you gotta respect that. You know what I'm saying? Because we want our, you know, like generations raised. That's how yeah. I used to think. Like yeah. to have the same values yeah. in the class of the way we talk, not copy another thing. Not saying we we're gonna hate on them, but it's all about you know what I'm saying. Like just yeah. building, and, and, you know, yeah, building the, each yeah. other. You know, and, uh, you know, the the, the older folks. And they look at the generation using that word because, like, you know, and them being yeah, a color also, too, they'll be like, hey, you know, don't be using that word. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what that costs to us? Yeah. You know, us, you know, going back to your ancestors and all this stuff and you guys use the word like it's a, you know, it's something that you guys should be proud of the same. But if I be, you know, if I can be, be real. People died over that word. If, if I can you know be real on this, that word is not even theirs either. Yeah. I mean, exactly. It's not. It was. It was yelled at them. Like, it was. It was used by the white. Exactly. So it's their word. Exactly. So that exactly. So they were they. You know how many people died off that word? I mean, how many people got like? I'm not gonna even go graphical, but let's take yourself to the 40s, 30s, 20s, and yeah, when it some was a real thing, like man. like you said, a white man, a slave master, is whooping someone, maybe even a kid, like yeah. 17, 16 year old man, and calling him that name, left and right. You know how many people died on that name? So by using that word, man, there's a lot of pain and agony in that, yeah. and it's yeah. like. Why are we letting it be cool when really it was a disrespect? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and that's where I see where, like, why do, you know, my yeah, kind is, is now using that. Like, yeah. man, you know, these guys just, just, just learn some history exactly. before, you know, you make a word part of your vocabulary. And, you know, and no, sh no disrespect to the young kids. They grew up in the hip-hop generation. Yeah. They listen yeah. to music, yep. and they follow trends. And we have to educate them to, like, yo, it's hip-hop. 
don't follow you know you are you who you can yeah. you can be yourself and you can still be solid you don't have to be like i have to be like I'm a, i don't know who's a hot rapper right now but let's say i can be i want to be like um name some i don't even know dog. like no. i want to be like i uh, just you know and king vaughn or whatever king vaughn <laughs> i want to be like king vaughn so i'm on t- you know like yeah. You don't need to copy them. You can be yourself. No, just like you said earlier, don't do it overboard. Exactly. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. You can have fun. You can bump the music, but you don't have. That's that's that person. You are this person. I mean, even it comes like you know when I, when I listen to like you know like some of the you know the old school ninety songs hip hop. Yeah. That word comes around, I'll skip it and yeah. say the next word. It's just that's exactly. how much I, that I will not allow that you know exactly. To come out of my and mouth then, you know, anyway. Chicano culture is very strong, prideful culture, and that's how I grew up you know, raising the country because I, I felt the yeah. power and the pride in it. So I have a lot of pride myself. So I was like, this is something I want to represent because it's solid. It's you know solid, what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. now I look at the generation like, damn, if I grew up in this generation, what would I think about the culture? You right. know, like, yeah, I would no. be like, you know, I'm like, huh? But hey, it is what it is, man. Yeah. And no respect to people who are doing it, saying it. You're yeah. raising, listen to hip hop music yeah. and stuff like that. But um, if you know your own, you know, your roots, how strong it was yeah. not to say it, I will yeah. stick with the G code and stick to your roots. Be stick proud of what you, yeah. you know your future generation did. Don't like I'm gonna change it, eh? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna say nah. I'm I can do it. Stick to your thing, man. Like I mean, people nowadays like I'm and it's another topic. They wear blue, red, whatever. In my days, nobody would wear red a lot, no. and I don't got problem with people wearing red because nah. in Southern California, there's a lot yeah. of drama. But I'd rather just be loyal, and you know what? I'm not yeah. gonna just flame up and this and that because you know street stuff. Even though I got no problem for somebody up there. Yeah. It, but it's like, why? This is how we were raised. So just yeah. stick to the, stick to you, you know, stick to what you yeah, know. Yeah, that's what know? I'm saying. Like if, if they, uh, you know, if they will know their, you know, the background on these things. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? a lot like, of people died over this too. So you know what? I'm, a, I'm just gonna keep it real, and I'm just gonna represent whatever. And you know, yeah. I'm not gonna disrespect nobody, but some disrespects me. It's a different story. Yeah. But I'm just gonna keep it for people who live past me, yeah. and actually died over this situation. So I'm not gonna go and go against their. Wheels yeah. because there's some people that actually really got into it because of the colors. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, we're yeah. in Southern California, yeah. don't have it. Upstate guys have it, and you got to respect them. So they they call us brothers over here. I'm gonna call you brother, and I'm gonna what what you do is like I'm gonna respect you. Respect, man. That's you know what I'm and, and that, that yeah. goes a long way. That goes a long way. And you know what? People wear colors, and you know I, I might wear it here and there, but like, bro, stop trying to overdo it. Like I'm different. I'm yeah. different. Like. Yeah. Sp- Come on, homie. Like, yeah. we're all the same here. Don't try to stand out. That's the problem. Yeah, no. Nah. Like, I'm going to yeah. stand out. I'm going to do, I'm going to go against the grain. Yeah, and, and just, <laughs> you know, just because, of, you know, the color, like, yeah. you know, I may have, a, you know, a, a red bulls hat or whatever, but, yeah. but my knowledge is that I, you can't wear that in certain areas because of what it means. Exactly. So you, you respect your surrounding, you respect yeah. where you're at, and you just, you just know, you just know what, you know. Yeah, I mean, and it, it's just, a, it's just, I have a problem when people just want to like show it off like too much. Like, yeah. like look, look. I'm yeah. like, bro, you live out here. Why you, you well, know? You have, yeah. Like, I mean, it just, yeah. and then the same with the N word, like saying every second, bro, chill out. <laughs> you use the one, okay, cool, but like, what are you trying to prove here? Yeah. You know, like, yeah. well, I'm different. I'm from, I'm a, I'm a different, I'm from the city. I like, like you know, like, mm. well, I'm from this side of town. We say it, we're, we're cool. Like, bro, yeah. like, like, it all comes, yeah, it's all about way. the majority, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But yeah. hey, it is what it is, man. And yep. no respect to all, but that's it's opinions, you know? Yeah. And, uh, shoot, man, what else, bro? What else, bro? Um, yeah, so I guess what's the difference between Chicano rap now and then? I mean, those are probably a couple of the things that are different, right? What is what do you see is different? Oh man, uh, everything, everything. Uh, I just think because now you know that generation growing up in the nineties, uh, you know, so that lifestyle that we uh, produced on music yeah. was based on that generation, that time. Yeah. And now that this new generation is 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 coming up. Now they're rapping and doing what they see and what they watch, yeah. uh, you know, and, and you know, basically, you know, what what they hear or their surroundings. And so it's and I shot some new different. generation. I see, I saw, I see a lot of these young ones wearing those, uh, you know, the the shirts, the um, Pendleton, not the Pendletons, but the uh, Charlie Browns. Charlie Browns. Oh yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like tripping out, like, and you know, some people in my generation, people hate people that do that. Yeah. But I, I why would we get mad? Like, hey, they ain't gang banging. Why are they dressing like that? Like. <laughs> Hey, I Matt. actually see some 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 people, yeah, you know, when, when they dress like that, I'm like, that's that's tight, you know that, that, yeah. that, that you know that's I'm not, not mad to me. Yeah, I, I don't care if it's like a costume and whatever, but you are representing the style that we grew up in. The 90s, and yeah. yeah, it was a lot of people wearing that back in our days as the bad guys, you yeah. know, like they're if you wore that, like you are the man, you were yeah. G. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But hey, it's still you wearing your own 
his clothings and stuff. And yeah, I can get technical. Well, technically, you know, somebody else owns it, but it's a style that, you know. Yeah, it's a style. And it's like, hey, there's something unique about it. You know what I'm saying? The whole world, I've been around the whole world, and when they think about Cali, when they think about, they think about stuff like that. They think about G stuff. Low. We create an image, but now look at we, Japan. Exactly, they have a whole culture. But now there. we don't have a culture in Cali. I feel like we're losing our we're culture. Losing it, yeah. We're like copying Atlanta. We're copying New York. Yeah. We're copying Texas. We're copying. Everyone's copying everyone. Like, well, I know how. I'm I'm a Texas guy. Well, I'm a New York guy, and they all live in Cali. One guy's acting like he's from New York. Another guy acting like <laughs> from Chicago. I'm like, bro, what happened to what Cali? Happened? Oh, I don't. Do that. I don't drive it over. I'm all about this. Yeah. I'm all, like, yeah. bro, stick to your culture. Yep. You're from and Cali. That's what, that's what separated Cali from everything is that we had our own. We had our exactly. own culture. And, and that and, and the nineties was the biggest for West Coast because we had yeah. our culture. And yeah. the whole world followed our culture till we abandoned it. Yes. Yeah. You know? Yeah, we, yeah, we pretty much but we abandoned man. it because hip hop blew up in different cities and we're like, oh, we gotta act cool. We have to act like that to be cool. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like so I learned one thing. And I feel like this is what we all should think about. A lot of people dressed like that because they were just thought it was trendy. I l- grow up now, I look at like they weren't really about that culture. There's like, oh, that's cool. I'm gonna be that. Or oh, this is cool now. I'm gonna be that. But hey, yeah, it, yeah that's. I think that's what's what they pretty much do. Just whatever's trending today. It's so fast with when you follow trends. Is yeah. what's here today is gone tomorrow. So I mean, you're just. Now you're just trying to keep up with with all these exactly trends, and so. uh, and that's where you lose yourself. You know. Of, True, Being and real. you know, hey, I'm gonna, do, I'm personally gonna do a lot of the new music, just that, that stuff, and but uh, just like you know, you yeah, you gotta have some kind of like, damn, it's just go out of all yeah. over the place, bro. But yeah. whatever, man. Um, let's talk about okay. I mean, I get a lot of hate from this, not a lot, but a lot of people been on my side, and they, they said it. And I never even bring this guy up, but uh, my boy Lazy Dub, he bring it up about SPM. Child molester, all right? And then uh, I kind of said something like, yeah, you know, I heard about that. And it's, that's no good, whatever. And then all these guys, all these SPM creatures, like, um, and I, a lot of them hit me up and said, you know what, you're right. We didn't know. We didn't know. And it's understandable. I didn't know. Like, since last year, it's barely, I really did my homework fully to understand, even though I was curious and I was like, heard negative and I, you know, I was like, you know what? But they start coming, talking crap, start coming on some racial stuff with me. I'm like, and you're backing up this what? So I want to know your intakes. What is your take on um, SPM? Um, uh, and I know this subject is getting old, but I mean, it's good awareness. But uh, what do you think about SPM child molest? I mean, you know, well, I mean, what do you think about it? I mean, well, you even a child molest. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. Well, in order for me to answer that, it goes back to, you know, when somebody calls somebody, hey, you know, he locked it up or this and that. You know, it's always. I need paperwork. I need something. Exact um, paperwork. You know, I need just I need to see that because I can't just go by your word. You know, because you may not just like this person for a certain reason, but yeah. um, you know, if the paper paperwork's there and, and and there's proof, you know, there's there's no way around that. You hit it right on the nail. No way around that. You, it it. <laughs> you know, if if that person. Let's talk to the Tweety. Paperwork is everything. So if you got paperwork yeah. and you're convicted, yeah. boom. It doesn't matter. You you got you got paperwork. Yeah. That's what a black and white paperwork says. And not only paperwork, and this, like, I don't want to keep bringing this character up too much, but, hey, it's good to educate the truth. If you have a kid that's pregnant with a 13-year-old kid and you're in your 20s, you already are convicted because you have a kid that's 13 years old. How do you have a kid with a 13-year-old and you're a grown man? So, I mean, I heard stories. She was at a strip club. Okay, but... You used to pick her up from middle school. Yeah. And then she's 13. Okay, you met her at a strip club. You did it in the car at the strip club. I, I, like, yeah, I'm I not heard still a lot that story. Yeah, yeah I, heard I, I could understand if they said that. Like, I'd be like, oh, man, he got tricked, whatever, whatever, right? But, but still, you're on paperwork, buddy. But well, the topic is like, you picked this person up from school. From school. You know better. You knew. You knew. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and, but I, I think a lot of, a lot of uh, backlash comes from, you know, they're, they're, they have to be fans of him. Yeah, exactly. You know, they have to be fans, and uh, you know, to cover up something like that, they're gonna yeah. say whatever. They're gonna go way. But that's what the people gotta know. Like, it's not about. Uh, it's it's not, not about that. No idolization, man. Uh, like, he's uh, a man, and yeah. every man shouldn't be worshipped. Like, he's he's yeah. just a rapper. It's something you, all the homies Definitely, know. Yeah. If Tweety or somebody like just somebody's doing something wrong, I know I gotta 
those 20 homies around me yeah. and they're going to they're going to bash me oh, later yeah. if I did something wrong. Yeah. So everybody's a grown man to know yeah. how to yeah, you have react to. and how to be behave and if you don't know how to behave there's only two things to me. You're either a real charmless like you just really have fetishes for this. Yep. Yeah. Or the second choice is you're just an evil person. I don't know. There's no really like good thing in this. I, I can't mean, see it, you know? Yeah, either like, way every, either way how however, you know, got yeah. down to that is it it happened. Exactly. And uh, no matter how much you try to cover and it's not over one it. case. It's like, I, I I know I talked about this and I don't even really want to talk about it, but I guess I'm bringing it up. You with somebody's daughter who you ended up being with someone's your own daughter's babysitting. You end up being with that girl, yeah. nine year old girl. That's a different case. Then there's a, the 13 year old girl you have a kid with. There's all these cases. Now he's got a new girl that looks like, I don't know, man. Like, it just, that's, if that's not enough proof for you to even see and know, then you have to be cuckoo in the head. And I hope you, you, you kind of, you know, hey, and I'm not hating on his music. If you like no. his music, cool i mean yeah i mean i personally don't yeah. really listen to his music but if you like it i'm not mad because yeah. you grew up on it you have feelings for it yeah you grew up you might have your first oh, yeah, drink right. drinking right. to that it's music Smurfs, first blunt yeah your first love was to the music that is understandable yeah. Actually, wrote before i doing uh was doing music you know i have a, a homie of mine that he loved that pm so he would just play and play and play so you know i, I listen to that but uh you know it's you you can love the music, but I mean, them being as a person is completely exactly. something different. You can't yeah. bring that music to, to, so when, to cover up a person. And when someone comes and says stupid things to me, hey, you're hating, or you're why you uh -huh. or do you hating on someone? Like, what do you mean hate on someone? This is a piece of shit. Blah blah blah. You want to listen to music? Go in your car, bump it, play it to yourself. But don't come in there banging like it's SPM. You're you know you're not as big as him. He's like, bro, calm down. I'm not talking about. I don't care if he's the president of the United States. Yeah, like, yeah. you are what you are, buddy. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And you are not that big. You're not the president. You're not the, you know, like, there's no statues of you on Mount Rushmore. You ain't, like, you yeah. know, like, so stop coming to me and telling me all this dumb shit. And, and that's why I like to thank the fans of his for talking shit to me, for me exposing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, hey, no okay. respect, man. And yeah. I... I feel what it is, but hey, once you in that situation, ba yeah, bay boys, it is what it is, homeboy. You can't get rid of that. So yeah, man, I, and I don't really like hating on people, and I never nah. did. But this is not hating. This is this is something that's wrong. Yeah, it just morally. needs to be addressed. And in, in, uh, we're in 2022. There's rules in the law, so that's it. There's yeah. no excuses. Well, you know, my Theo, mar my Theo married somebody that was in the 1920s, and like, bro, this is 2022. Yeah, this is 1990s. We're grown. Times have changed. Like, don't make excuses. I, I heard all kind of excuses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, it's, like, <laughs> ridiculous, yeah, you know? Pretty much no, nothing new, man. Yeah, it's, it's 2022. Right. Like, it is what it is. Whatever laws were at that time and they did what they did or they're in a third world country, it's cool. It is, no one's saying that could be right or wrong or whatever, the right age or whatever. It could be 16, be 18. Yeah. But the law of the land is 18 years old in the United States of America, and that's the laws of the land. That's homie. it. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Done, done dealing. Yeah. You got paperwork, if you know. So that's, it is what it is. It. Yep. So, yeah, man, shoot, I know we got a little controversial. Oh, um, yeah, I guess I didn't bring it up. Tyga. What do you think about Tyga doing that song, um, Ay Caramba? I mean, what's your, what's your take on that, Tweety? Uh, man, that goes back, you know, to us saying the N-word and things. Uh, you know, there's, there's a boundary on that. Uh, and I think that, you know, I mean, I don't think it should have been done. Honestly, it shouldn't because... Uh, it's pretty much just a mockery. Yeah, it is, and and for yeah. us, for us to just allow that and say like, oh, okay, you know, it's yeah. uh, it's cool, it's nice, you know, he's representing us. No, not in that fashion. Exactly. You know, it's it's just it's it shouldn't be done that way. If we would do something like that, yeah, the the tables are gonna turn and be like, exactly. Especially, you know, yeah, what I'm saying, yeah, what are you guys uh, doing? Like, I mean, I don't want to say some stereotype of somebody else, but yeah, if you stereotype. Somebody else, yeah. or like, like, let's say African community, you just show African stuff, and in the video, like, that would be kind of weird, right? It's a bunch yeah. of African stuff yeah. going on. Because yeah. what, what Tiger's doing is not representing Southern California Mexicans or Chicanos or, you know, that yeah. vibe. He's representing people from Mexico. Yeah. And really, he doesn't have too much relationship with Mexico like no. that. He has relationship with Southern Cali. So if he has cholos in the video, I, I don't have no problem yeah, with any of that yeah, stuff, right? Yeah, like, yeah. he has cholo, like, you know, go, like, when he, a lot of people didn't like the song Go Local. I wasn't mad at that. I was like, hey, 
you know what, local, he has homies in the video, whatever, you know, like, but then when he had the sombrero on, I'm like, what does local got to do with the sombrero? Like, I don't know. I never thought that sombrero guy was local. Like, right, you know, like, you know the hard work. I, like, <laughs> like, you, know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, so yeah. Where, how did this guy became local? Like, what? It's confusing me. Okay, whatever. He maybe just thought it was cute. Like, cool. Not, 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 I still wasn't really mad, but I was like, eh, kind of weird, but it's not really, yeah. it's not yeah. really representing the locals. But I guess because local means crazy, you know crazy. that means like that's like saying Piru or or Cuz or whatever, and then you're representing some African like it, it does, like you know it's yeah, different man, it's different. So yeah, it's a Spanish word, but I mean when you have representation of a local, you don't think of a of a mariachi band, you know nah, nah, that doesn't make sense, right? No, nah, that doesn't that doesn't doesn't matter. So when what Tiger did what he did, and I honestly think Tiger he's 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 a good dude because after what he did right there. Um, he bring it up. He went and met with American Cholo. And honestly, I'm going to tell you like this. And people say, hey, da, 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 da. I was like, Tiger, I got to give him a much plot because he came yeah, and talked fixed. about it. Yeah, yeah, he did. So whether yeah. like, I mean, what's your take on that, bro? Well, I mean, if he, you know, how the audience got it, you know, he he felt that. Yeah. He, he felt the pushback on that. So, you know, him coming out and say, you know what, if I offended any kind of way, you know, I apologize. That's my mistake. Yeah. Uh, you know, saying that's go, that's that's respect. Yeah. You know, hey, I fucked up. Exactly. And uh, you know, I just want to make it right, make myself clear. You know, let's let's push this to the side, and I uh, guarantee though, they ain't gonna be another one next time. Exactly. Like that. You yeah. know, saying it's because of what it caused. No, and exactly, and I, and I don't like the arrogancy of people said, yeah, we 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 punked him to do this. Not like no. Tiger, you are the bigger man. You took the st- yeah. stand, and and you you actually like said, hey man, I, you know I you know, and he took down the video. That's yeah, he did. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. I don't even know if I would do it. If I was in Tiger Shoes, I'd be like, and what? I, you know? Yeah. I don't think I would do it. Like, yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're putting your money behind something and, you know, but that showed you he had love for the community. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Even though I have love for community, but I don't like to get told what to do. Yeah. And he still was told what to do. And he's like, you know what? I don't care. Uh, and that's that takes a lot. So, shots yeah. out Tiger, man. Shots yeah, man. out Tiger. Yeah, he, he fixed it, man. But yeah, and I understand people using that, and you know it's kind of like it's a little funny, but hey, man. But let's yeah, let's get back to Tweety, man. So last questions, man, before we wrap this up, man. Are we seeing you let's back go. in the studio? Are you seeing new new music from Tweety? Yeah. Or is Tweety gonna come back? The Tweety that we knew, or you know, just gonna are you gonna give nah. it at all? <laughs> nah, um, actually, you know, this time around, you know, different situations, you know, and uh, like I said, I had that urge still to to come back and um, my. My thing is to finish an album, uh, get it out, put something out new. You know, it's been it's been so long, but the drive that I have now is you know it's coming from a whole different standpoint. You know, everything that I had to take care of is already taken care of. So there, there's nothing else for me, you know, to that's left unfinished. So now it's it, this is my time. This is my time to put it into myself to invest into my music. Um, you know, and give the fans what they've been waiting for for you know for over 12 years since since a love poetry album. Yeah, um, yeah you know, I'm, now I'm older, but. I still got it, and uh, you know, growing up and recording those those albums, mm. uh, that wasn't even everything that I can give. Yeah, you know that the the best is still yet to come. So, the story is there. The so, Tweety, he's been through it. Like I feel like you need to do an album, talk about your growing up, how you became who you are today, and just really talk about now the Tweety of who witnessed and seen all that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, man. So and th- that's and that's what I have on th- on this one. I I'm back in the studio. I'm recording, I'm laying some tracks down, I have a, you know, a little mix of everything, um, you know, and, you know, this generation is going to, you know, it's going to have an ear for it now because it's, 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 uh, it's, it's new and it's something that they're used to listening to, yeah. uh, you know, same, same flow and, and same person, but just, you know, the music is going to be just something that I've never done and uh, they never heard before. Yeah, and, and one more thing I was going to say, like, you know what, I mean, what, I mean, this is this, spit it this, out. This, spit it yeah, out. this is what I, I want to say. How I'm gonna say it real quick. Like, there's people that say, "Hey, what happened to Tweety? What ha- happened to you know Silent and some people?" But uh, they didn't. Tweety's hot power for life. Yeah, man. I didn't you know get that tattooed for nothing. <laughs> hey, Tweety's um, hot power. All all the guys, not just Tweety, Tweety, Silent, everyone, all the solid people, all from back in the days. I can go a list with so many people. Yeah, yeah. Essay Menace. Like, there's so many guys that are still we communicate just because they don't do music. I don't want to. I hear these little rumors like, what's going on? Like, blah, 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 all this internet. Because, you know, once there's one little hater and 
says yeah. something so they believe yeah. everything but us uh, hey tweety just been holding his own man yeah you know I've, I've been and i and to the record straight and if tweety decided to do anything on his own i would be 100 percent appreciation of it like do your thing homeboy you know what i'm saying it's a digital era right now like i told criminal to do it and he's doing it I told yeah. pinks to do it she's doing it we just provide platform and we and you still like today yeah. if you're gonna do your music you're gonna do your music and we're just gonna help you push like hey yeah, and we'll get this new song just, and yeah, you just, own all your music just nowadays. like i just like i you know I, I mentioned to you you know like i started with you um i mean how you know i wouldn't feel right you know doing an album for somebody else under another label because yeah. you know i already made a name and a face for yeah. for for the the label high power exactly I have that tatted on me uh you know it's just there's no place that you know i would even you know uh give myself and time exactly you know to give another label an album when it can just be invested exactly. here because uh, oh, you definitely. put me up on game yeah uh and if it wasn't for you to open that door nobody would know who i am yes you know no no all good homie and the same way homie like i you know you have talent like why not help another brother i know there's a lot of artists and i'm not gonna say names but 95 percent of the chicano artists you can you tell me who they put on who did they i'm gonna bring this guy to help him be somebody like, all the top five, top ten artists out there, you can't tell me that they put people on. Nah. But it's not even about that. It's, that's what you're supposed to do, and that's what I do. And I feel like that's why I'm blessed that I keep doing what I'm doing because I had the good intention, good stuff. Sometimes it didn't work out, but everything wasn't good. More the intentions to blow everybody up and do big things on their own to be big stars, whether yeah. they follow a pursuit, they, some change and some had a bigger ambition trying to do some whatever it was but the intentions were right and everything's good and just like i said now you're home you're welcome to drop your album and own your music and we just give you a digital platform you know what i'm saying and that's all artists that's what we do now we let them own their music it's not about like i'm back in the days we're new in the game we're like hey I'm going to give you money. We didn't know. I wasn't a real record label. I was just yeah. a street guy. Like, I'm going to get your stuff, and I'm going to push you. Push and I'm going yeah. to go hustle you. I'm going to be in the hood selling your shit. You've seen all the yeah. oh, trenches yeah. being at, at the streets man, in the hood. I remember all that, Selling man. CDs to gangsters with guns, and I'm like, gun, what, what? See, and that's one thing. On that's, other, one, you know? that's one thing, even the time that I was out. Like, you know, I will hear people, you know, message me, and they'll, you know, in my inbox, like, hey, you know, don't mess with them, this and that. But, you know, like, they don't know you like I do. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They, they, they're, they're standing on the outside. Yep. You know, I've known you since I was a teenager. And, yep. uh, you know, and what you're doing is something, yeah, you know, if they can't do it like you, exactly. you know, don't even don't even try to press the issue exactly. about what you're doing. Exactly. You know what and I'm saying? So, you know, they, they, they will try to change my mind, but like, hey, yeah. you know, they ain't no changing. No changing exactly. my mind. Yep. You know, because I know what you've done for me. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, so. and that's something that I stand on regardless. That's what's up, homie. Yeah, shots out, man. Hey. Shouts out little Tweety. Hopefully, man, Tweety deserves it. All you people listen to his music in the past, make sure to listen to his new music. Um, yep. Just bring him back. I mean, I know the game's harder now. It's tougher, but we got a pioneer in the building. Shouts out little Tweety. Still got Tweety. it, man. Still got it. He's here. Be ready for his new music. And uh, once again, man, good for having yeah. you, big dog. Yeah, that was good. Hey, that was good. I wish we had that clapping right, <laughs> right now. But, uh, yeah, you know what? We might have the clapping. But, hey, uh, yeah, dropping out. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, man. Shots to little Tweety. Check out his music, and uh, most likely you'll be hearing, hearing from the music soon. So uh, yeah, on that note, definitely. another episode, another interview, Mr. Capone. I know I talked a little bit more on this interview than you, but yeah. it's just so much I had to like speak yeah. upon you too because I right. know you from the past, and it's been a while that we chilled. So hey, shots out, man. And uh, once again, yep. Tweety in the building. We out. That's right. <laughs>